Hey everyone, Shakaris here. Today I'm doing a quick tutorial on um, some changes you can do to optimize your replay file viewing. Now, whether you're a coach or an analyst or you work for a team and you just want to improve your viewing experience of TR scrims, or if you're just a content creator and want um, a few extra options for uh, reviewing your games or recording your games. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty niche, which is why it's gonna be unlisted on my channel. And I'm not following a script, which means this video is going to be pretty bad. Anyways, let's get started. So as you know, uh, replays, you can uh, record them. Uh, you can download them rather from the client. So when you click, you download them. If you click here, you can watch them. We're not going to do that just yet. Um, firstly, we need to check where replays go to. Um, documents, League of Legends, replays, and you'll find them here. Uh, and then obviously you can rename them. Uh, and then the way to open replay files is either via the client or um, in your own um, Riot Games folder. So Riot Games, League of Legends, game. And then I already have a replay here and you can drag and drop it. And that's more useful if you're downloading an OPGG replay or a League of Graphs, uh, whatever, or a TR replay, you can just do that. Alternatively, what you can do is you can get this thing called Raffle Player, which I just clicked. You can't see it here. I already have it installed, so it's going to be a bit different for me. Uh, it finds the executable. So the first time you install it, it's going to ask you for the directory of League of Legends in which you're going to point them towards this little e executable. So you're going to go write games, League of Legends, game, and then click on this, and then it's going to help you out, right? And then once you have that created, what this allows you to do so what this allows you to do is double click on replays and open them up without having to do the whole drag and drop method, which is can be a bit annoying. So now my replay is just opened. Um, to zoom out, Control Shift Z is the default keystone, uh, hotkey rather, not keystone. And by doing Control Shift Z, you unlock it. Control Shift Z again puts it at max zoom, right? Uh, so that's how it works. And then let's say there's other things we can we can go into. First off, um, there's League Directory. You might notice it's not being recognized here. And there's a reason for that. It's because we didn't set up correctly. And then you, and then also let's say you want Minimap to look bigger, which is something I do frequently, right? When I do, uh, when I do my own content, when I do my content for right games, you might notice uh, my Minimap is usually bigger and that can be changed. So let's Alt F4 for now. And let's go back to um, to here where we were. And now in your game folder, um, now this is gonna depend, I think depending on the method you do, either dragging, dropping, or opening up in, in Raffle Player, two files will be generated in two different folders. Yours might not look like this right now, but it will afterwards. But you'll have a config folder that has a game and a persistent settings. Now, in game, you want to go here. Uh, you want to open this with Notepad, by the way, which is very easy. You just, uh, let's say, don't say, let's say you're opening for the first time. Um, it's going to open something like this, and you just say, keep using this app and always open, whatever. Um, but here, you're going to type enable replay API equals one. And by putting it at one, uh, you now will have League Director recognizing it. And then persistent settings, uh, the one I like to change frequently is minimap scale. Uh, so for replays, you can change your minimap scale to two or three, um, making your minimap bigger. Reminder, this is in the game folder. I do not recommend changing the other config file outside of the game folder. That will change for your games. I do not recommend you play with a bigger minimap than 100, that might get you in trouble. Anyways, so I changed these two files. Um, in this case, I'm also going to copy these two into data CFG. Again, uh, how you open the replay via this mode or via dragging can can change where it's gonna pick up the config and in the, the persistent settings. But now, uh, let's say I wanna open this replay again. And as you can see, Minimap is much bigger now. You can make it 300, 500, 
whatever you need for your recording needs and your viewing needs, especially if you're you're watching scrims and TR. And then um, you can make more changes to the to the persisted settings file. For example, um, I have more settings where um, going down here to input any, I have shift P to remove HUD, um, shift U to hold, to show health bars, drag scroll, scroll lock on button three, which is the, the, the click on, on your scroll button. So you can have a manual camera instead of a, instead of a directed camera. So you can move it uh, very smoothly. And then I also have, um, my extended zoom on V instead of, uh, control shift Z which just is easier to me. That's what I'm used to. So this this is what I use, but that doesn't really matter. Um, but then you might mention, oh, but replays stop working um, after a patch. And that's true. So let's say today's the day of the, today's the day before the patch, tomorrow's 10.6. Uh, if you want these replays, the ones you, you played this patch, be sure to download them because after the patch, they'll be unavailable for download. And now you might say, well, but I, I still can't play them uh, on 10.6. And that's true. What you can do is you can just make a copy of your game folder. So let's say a game folder here, I'll go back to local disk and just make league client 10.5, league 10.5. And I'll just copy the game folder once it's done. And then I can also open my Raffle player, go to executables, click add and call it patch 10.5. Browse and now look for the target. It's already here. So click on this one. And now I'll have two executables, one for live and one for patch 10.5. Right now they're the same. Tomorrow live will be 10.6, patch will be 10.5. Alternatively, if you're missing out on certain patches, you can go to replays.xyz and find old clients. They don't have them all, uh, but they do have some. And uh, yeah might help you get some some older replays functioning but yeah that's going to be it um pretty simple stuff i hope this helps especially for the people that i know i've been talking to some coaches some analysts that didn't know about this stuff and making the minimap bigger is really useful for for um viewing and also the zoom out tool is very useful for for both recording content and and uh and looking at scrims so yeah i hope this is helpful and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.